Hey guys, so I just want to do a picture day kind of thing because it is picture day today and it already passed. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I wore to school. If I could kind of go down. Okay, so on my face, I used the Jergens today. Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin. I do have dry skin sometimes, but I put that on my face. And this is a 3 fluent ounce, which is a lot. Um, I don't know, but it is a lot. Which, um, yeah, and it's really good too, so. And it lasts you for like a long time, but, yeah. But then next, I'm just going to do my foundation and everything. So first, I'm going to apply on my face primer. And these earrings are really pretty. I think they're from Forever 21, but I forgot. But these are, this is the Sephora one. I'm just going to use this as a base. And I will be putting on this base until I go find a new one at Sephora. So I'll just like apply this on to my whole entire face. And then I'll like put some more around my nose and where I get shi shiny the most. So then I'll just blend it with my clean fingers and I just hand sanitize my hands too. I'm trying not to have a mirror with me so I won't be like looking over here so I could be looking at you guys. So first I'm just gonna start off with my concealer and I use a liquid concealer for my dark circles so this is the elf one and it medium and I'll just like apply it on there it does look like really light but it's just that um, I got a really light and it makes myself I don't know why I got light but it's not actually really light Okay, I need a man. So I'm just gonna blend this. And you can look down to see where your dark circles are. Okay, so that's that. For my concealer. Well, not yet, but then I'll do it after. Um, I'm going to use my NYC um, foundation. I'm barely beige. I always use this foundation. No matter what, I'll always use this foundation. Um, but I'll wear a tinted moisturizer in the summer. And if you guys want to see my foundation routine for the summer, um, you'll just have to wait because it's not whatever yet. But in the winter, I'll do one too. And then if I change my foundation, I'll just do it. Then I'm just going to take my Oath Studio Line Stipple Merge and I'll just like blend together every single thing, every single foundation. And I don't apply it on my um, eyelids just because I don't want like to. I'm not a fan of doing that. So you can bring some towards your neck. And um, yeah. So next, if I need more coverage, like around my nose, and if I still have dark circles, which I do over here, it's okay. I'm just going to take my Sephora palette. I'm going to take the leaf, the number two leaf, the green one, and put it around my nose. You just put a little, don't put too much, or you'll look really, really green. So I'll just like buff it in with that. Then I'm going to take the nude color. The first color. I'm just going to apply that on where I put it so I don't look too green. Just make sure you really like buff it in. Then I use my fingers to kind of blend it. Then I'm just going to take my Sonia Kashuk um, big powder brush and my 
NYC translucent powder and naturally beige and um let's tap off any excess and I'll just like buff it in this camera this flip can is actually really uh, it's actually better than my HD camera so I think I just won't be filming this, but it'll kind of be boring to go to the same place. So, yeah. And I go over again my T zones where I get oily. And this is a naturally beige. So, next, what I like to do is um, spill my eyeshadows. I don't wear eye primers that much anymore just because I need to go buy a new one but I do have the next one which I don't like but yeah so first I'm just going to start off with my eyeshadow brush and this is from e.l.f. obviously and I'm just going to take this color right here and you will just take it and I'm using my eye palette and just put it onto my eyelids or so like you would call eyeballs so I'll just like apply that on and then I'll apply and I'll take my blending eye brush I'm gonna get this really shiny sandy color right there tap off an excess Apply it onto your face. So I don't apply it on a lot because it is a shimmering color and we're not supposed to use it, but yeah. So that's that, what I use for my eyeshadows. I try to make it simple just because it's school and I do have swimming too, so, and we went right after, but yeah. So next is to fill in my eyebrows. I need to fill in my eyebrows because my eyebrows are extremely light and, um, yeah. So I'm just going to take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and medium and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I need a mirror for this because it's my eyebrows eventually. So that looks really filled in. And then I'm going to do the other eye. Try not to put too much in the towards. Then I like to take my fingers and just like kind of buff it in. And then smear, kind of like that. The next I like to do is mascara. Um, so I just use my Clinique High Impact Mascara. I'm going to take it and apply it onto my, oops, my eyelashes. And then I use my Maybelline New York um, Volume Express Waterproof one and very black. And I just take it and I only use like one layer because it's really hard to take off so. so that's what I do and it does kind of make a difference but yeah then I have my Maybelline Eye Studio and black is black I'm just going to take my Elf Small Angle Brush. So I'm just going to tap a little. And tight line line. 
my eyes like I'd always and then I'll take a little more and apply it on ow You can line your eyes, but I don't like to, and then I'll just like tip off and wipe off any excess on my finger. So that's that, and it does make a difference, but not a whole lot of difference. Next, I'm going to do blush. Oh yeah, and put on the lip balm. This is the Unforgettable Moments one, and Dewy Rose. And if I can open it up looks like that and smells really good too. So the next I like to do is put on my blush. I don't put on a highlight because it does make my face more oily. So yeah, so I just take my Love and Beauty brush and clean this side of brush, the kind of foundation um, powder brush. Yeah, and this is the Sally Hansen one over here. And just apply this on the lower bottom cheeks. And don't apply too much or it'll look like weird. Try to hurry up so I can go watch Family Field, but that's not the really whole point why I'm rushing. It's because I have like three minutes left. So next I have my bronzer. This is the NYC bronzer. I just put in the Sephora thing. Just because it was cracked up. And stuff like that. And it still needs to be smushed. But I tried my best to like smush it. But uh, this one is in Sunny. I think this is like the only shade they have because I can never find a darker shade. This is just like one or two um color like different shade. So I'm just gonna take my stippling brush and apply it on. And just like apply it on. And then do that. And then next, what I like to do is apply my lip color. I swear, I put on this too much today, and people can notice that I was wearing lipstick, which I always do. So, this is by, I don't know what this is by, but this is called Purple Mood Lips. And I'll just like play on my lips. And that's that. And that's what I wore to so called picture day. And so I hope you guys enjoy this. And yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye.